Well, Harris making a quick trip to Columbia today, officially filing for President Joe Biden to appear on the ballot for South Carolina's 2024 Democratic primary. She says that her party has momentum less than three months out from the state's first in the nation Democratic primary. State House reporter Mary Green was there and has more. Vice President Kamala Harris beat Friday's filing deadline by about two hours here at South Carolina Democratic Party headquarters in Columbia. Then the vice president thanks supporters gathered inside for the role South Carolina Democrats played in boosting President Joe Biden to the party's nomination in 2020. Because of what you did in 2020, we have then come into office and with your support, done a number of things that have been transformational for our country because of the work of the folks here in South Carolina. Among those accomplishments, Harris highlighted the expansion of broadband access, student loan debt forgiveness, caps on insulin prices, and increased HBCU funding. She says Democrats have the wind at their backs following a successful night for the party in elections across the nation Tuesday. 2024, there is so much at stake. As I travel the country, I don't need to tell anybody, I do believe there is a full-on intent by some very powerful people to attack so many of our hard-fought, hard-won fundamental freedoms and rights. Yes. Polls nationwide and in early states suggest Biden's popularity is struggling a year out from the general election. South Carolina Congressman Jim Clyburn, a Biden-Harris campaign co-chair, dismissed those polls as a snapshot, saying former presidents Bill Clinton and Barack Obama were also down at points before ultimately winning their re-elections. It'll all come together. We're going to be fine. Uh, I, um, I have a lot of faith in the ability of Democrats uh, to get the word out. In a statement, SC GOP Chairman Drew McKissick expressed confidence that his party will retake the White House next year, adding, quote, it's clear that Biden is an even bigger disappointment for South Carolinians in the Democrat Party than anyone ever expected, which I guess explains why he's not coming here to file in person. And as she was leaving here Friday, Harris was asked how she thinks their campaign will do in next February's Democratic primary, with Biden one of four candidates to file here in South Carolina. The vice president confidently responded, we are going to win. Reporting Columbia, I'm Mary Green. Now, along with Biden, the other candidates who filed with the South Carolina Democratic Party are Minnesota Congressman Dean Phillips, activist Marianne Williamson, and political commentator Sank Yank Uger.